So I'm here with Jason from Pixapro. We've got the Godox V1 Roundhead Speedlight with us. We're going to take a quick look through some of the functions. So tell us a bit about it. Well, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's round head design, so it works with all the um, round head magnetic modifier kit that's come out for the round head Pika yep. and for the um, adapter that's going to be able to go on to the square speed lights. Um, new tilt function, so it'll go all the way back. You've also got the rotation, same as you got on most speed lights, so it goes around both directions right. for if you're doing bounce. Going on to the menu, you've got your normal TTL, you've got your normal manual settings. Um, it has got the same as the Pro Trigger, the TCM function built in. It's got the option to scan for the channels, so you can find your cleanest channels. Great for event photographers if you're working with a load of Wi-Fi. Can't think of an event going on at the moment that might have a lot of radio signals <laughs> going on. Yeah, yeah, the, the signal has not been great at the show this weekend. I, I've, I've got three phones with me, and I, I'm lucky if I can get one of them to get online. I did actually use it this morning on, on the PixPro stage to find what was the cleanest channel for the first guy up this morning. And did so, it work? Um, no complaints, so oh, right. yeah, brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, when they've stopped yeah, working, I mean, when there's a lot of interference because like everybody's here. Oh, god, yeah, I mean, and then you... as soon as the doors open, you've got like 5,000 people with phones, and yeah, and 2.4 gigahertz and... is a really popular, um, yeah, just frequency. a bit. <laughs> yeah. It has an audible beep. Um, I have had a little play with it, I've got a few shots, literally, first time I've touched them today. Um, I can say it's nice, it gives a really nice, even light pattern out of the, just out the box as it is, yep. with no modifier on the front. And you start adding the magnetic modifiers and going around, I think it's brilliant for event photographers. Yeah, yeah. The versatility that they're going to get. And the fact that it can be a master, so you can control all your other groups the same as you would with a trigger. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it's like the V860 Mark II, or what was it, what is it, Pixar Pro calls it? The, the um, 580 EX2. That's the one. Yeah, so it's just this, the same functionality. The same functionality, actually, it's closer to being a mix of the, that Speedlight and the um, Pixar ST4 or the XP Pro trigger. Right. Because it's got the TCM function built in right. there as well, which yeah. we haven't got in anything yeah. else. Yeah, so that's not in any of the other Speedlights, is it, the TCM? No, no not that I'm aware of. I've never seen it. Right, so, right. Um, it, the first thing I saw it on was the, the X Pro trigger or the yeah. ST4. So, yeah, the, uh, for me, that's a, I use that all the time, the TCM for, feature. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, for, for weddings and events where you're moving around a lot. And yeah, I mean, the, the big thing a lot of people say is that TTL's, um, uh, oh, TTL's unreliable, TTL's this thing. TTL will get you there really, really quick. Um, and then with the TCM function, so you get yourself there with a couple of shots, press and hold the TCM function, or on this it's just a single quick press, and it converts it to a manual setting. That way then if you're seeing changes, so you get somebody comes in in white and the, and the camera's reading it as brighter, yeah. it's not suddenly going to change your flash output, it's it's manual and it's set there. And then if you want to fine tune it once you've done that, you can just tweak it. Yeah. So if you're using the pros, you've got a tenth of a stop, yeah. and you can really finesse what you're doing. So this has tenth of a stop adjustments as well? I don't know, I haven't, uh, I'll be perfectly <laughs> honest, I haven't looked at it, but I it, haven't it, measured the power. It the, does have a model in with 10 different it does steps have a built-in well. modeling light yeah, with 10 different steps so you've got a little LED modeling light in the front there unfortunately I flattened the battery so I can't show you <laughs> um, I may have been playing with it a little bit today yeah so it's got the modeling light it's got an LED focus assist which I did have working earlier yeah in the show I could see it coming on um, wasn't really needed because the 5d mark 3 does great but you know just you've got, it's there you've got to see if it works yeah you've got to have a play yeah so um, other than that it's the same as using pretty much anything else from Godox Pixar. It's, it's just a joy to work with. Yeah. There is a post on DIY Photography with a bit more information on this. You don't know when this is out yet, do you? Not because exactly. It's been announced. It's like Godox have officially announced it now, haven't they? Yeah, but, they, well, they wouldn't have sent it to us if they um, hadn't. No. If you look at the, um, the firmware version, it's 0.8 oh, on yes, the firmware. I, I've got an X-Pro trigger like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's, um, it's exciting, it but is. it's, you know, really? you want to see the new battery. Oh yes, yes. You so this has battery. a it's a different battery design. design so on this, it is literally a press a button on the side there and out it pops from the side there. And then it's just a hole through the flash. It is, but there's nothing much in there. You want to have a look that's going to get damaged. There's a couple of little contacts in there for the um, battery, but other than that, it's not getting into anything else inside the flash. I think it's going to be all right. And to be perfectly honest, me personally, I'd have a spare battery, so there would always be a battery in it. Yeah. Um, I don't carry any of my battery powered lights without at least at least one spare battery. Yeah, absolutely. So. Absolutely. Oh, brilliant. One out, one in. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Jason. You're very welcome. We're going to take one last look around the show because things are winding down. It's like the last hour on the last day, but we're we're, we're going to see what else we can find that looks pretty cool. But uh, we'll see you around the show.